Welcome to my channel and it's another Inspiration Friday and I've got a great project for us to do today with these cute tea bag holders. So I'm really excited to share with you in Design Space that I put together this design for the little teacup packet holder that we're making and I am able to share it with you. So I will have the link down below in the video but if you were to go in and click on the link, you will see that I've got this all already put together for you. So I went in and I designed using the rectangle and the circle um, and put in some score lines for you. So the work is all done for you. And so you can either go in and do customize if you'd like to, or you can go straight to make it. If you go straight to make it, it's going to make it in the exact size that I gave it to you. But let's just take a peek at it through Customize, just so you can see what all the different pieces look like. So what I did is I took a basic rectangle and I added in the score lines for you. Now, if you wanted to make this without using your Cricut, you absolutely could. This is a 9 and three quarters by three and three quarters rectangle. And then I measured in three and a quarter inches on each side and I put my score lines and then trimmed off this corner so that you can use that for your tea bag. And then if you did not have a Cricut or you just didn't want to use your Cricut, you could find any type of embellishment that you would like to put on it. In this case, what I've done is I've picked out, as we can see here, I have picked out a print then cut. So that is why um, we're, we've got this design this way. Now, I did find this design in Design Space. I put a white circle behind it and then I flattened it. Kind of the same method we used when we did the stickers um, last week. And I'll link the sticker um, video down below too so you can see that how we went through the print then cut. So basically we're ready to go. We're just going to go ahead and go ahead straight to um, make it. And the very first thing that's going to come up is our print then cut. And as a reminder that those black lines are going to come off when it's printed and that's what the maker is going to use to be able to size up where to do its cutting. So whenever we have a print then cut, we always are going to press continue and we're going to tell it to send it to our printer. Now as a reminder, I normally turn bleed off when I have a white border and that is what I have on this one. And then I normally always turn on my system dialog because I want to use the printer settings for this versus just defaulting through design space. So in this case, I'm going to make sure I go to best, best quality print and I am also going to go to a heavier paper. So I'm going to go to heavyweight paper. I'm using a um, 80 pound cardstock is what I'm using for this design. And then mine automatically defaults to two sided. So I'm going to go ahead and take that off and I'm going to go ahead and say send to my printer. So I will be right back with you um, and then we'll move on to the next cut. Okay, so I just got my paper from the printer and I'm going to go ahead and line it right up on my mat. And remember our black lines are the lines that the Cricut machine reads. So it makes sure that we've got all the cutting in the right spot. So I'm going to go ahead and push my load button. And I'm going to push my Cricut button because it's ready to go. Now I have selected heavyweight cardstock for this cut. So it's the 80 pound cardstock. So you can see the maker is reading the lines there. Make sure it knows exactly where to go. And our cut's all done. So we're going to bend it and offload it from the back like we always do. And you'll see we've got a really nice cut. 
So we're gonna set that one off to the side. My Cricut is now asking for my bigger paper. Let me go ahead and move that back so we can load it easier. Now, whichever side you want showing on the outside is the side you want facing up. That's if you want a pocket on the right-hand side, which is how I'm working it this time. So what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna go ahead and load. Now, my Cricut Maker is telling me I need my embossing wheel. And so I am adding my wheel and I'm gonna go ahead and go, go for the machine. Now, if by chance you have an Explorer, you absolutely can use this. Or if you don't have the scoring wheel, you can use Cricut's embossing tool. I just happen to have the scoring wheel, and so that's what my machine is calling for. So it's gonna go ahead and do those lines. I'm gonna make it that much easier to fold. And then now my machine, or design space is saying, you need to put your fine point blade in. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And I'm gonna hit go again. And we're gonna unload our machine. And we are gonna unload the paper from the back. And again, the cut it so nice. We're gonna put that cut off to the side. And then the last thing we're gonna load our machine is asking us for is the pink. So I got into my scrap to be able to do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and just push the button there and let it do its thing. Gonna unload and I'll, I'm gonna take that out and then the next step we're gonna do is we are going to put together our packet so let's put together our tea bag holder so we've got the three pieces that we cut out of the Cricut and what we're gonna start with is we are going to fold now it's probably hard for you guys to be able to see but the Cricut has given me the crease lines that I need. And what I like to do is, sometimes even when they give you the crease lines, I still crease it wrong, but I'll take my bone folder and you really wanna get a good crease on that. And then I'm gonna go on my next line that I can see and I am going to give it a good crease. So then what I like to do is take my double-sided tape. Now, you may have a um, tape runner. You can definitely use that. I just love this double-sided tape. And I'll make sure all the supplies I'm using here, I will link down below. And we're just gonna put that straight across like that. So that's gonna turn into our little pocket for our tea bag. And you can see it's gonna fit in there just cute as can be. So then what I like to do is we are gonna work with our ribbon. Now, I kinda just eyeball my ribbon to see how much, make sure I'm about even on either side of it. And then I'm just going to grab my scissors and cut that ribbon. And then you could put a little piece of tape there and do your ribbon that way. But what I like to do is I've learned this little trick is if I just make a little slice here and a little slice here okay, and then just kind of open it up a little bit make sure you're nice and open and then what we're going to do is we're just going to take our ribbon I just use the back of my knife just to start it through and we're just going to weave it right through That one doesn't want to go through. Need to help it go through just a little. There it goes. 
And then what we're gonna do is just even this out, making sure that we've got it pretty even there, okay? So now we've got this as our pocket and this is gonna be my cover. So I'm gonna bring this across. And then what I like to do is, one thing I didn't show you at the very beginning is I have these cute little pads and they're just um, really thin, but they just give a little bit of dimension. And I'm gonna put that on the back of my little saying, and then I'm going to add it to our little circle. So see, it just gives it just a little bit of dimension there. And then I'm gonna take some of my double-sided tape and I am going to put two pieces there. Just pull that right off. And with my ribbon in place, making sure my ribbons are pretty even. It's a little bit, let me just make that a little bit more so. Helps when you tie the bow that you're pretty even. And then I'm going to just place that guy right in the middle. So cute as can be. So now I told you at the beginning that I love my crocodile corner chopper. And there is a quarter inch and a half. A uh, half inch and I like to take the half inch side and you don't have to do this but I just think this gives a nice finished look and so looks like I let's see if I can bring this guy up just a little bit I didn't quite have him centered there we go like that a little bit better so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come to the inside and remember how I said I wanted to try to put a saying in there so this is one of the sayings that was in our paper pack. I'm gonna do the same thing here. So this one would be a cute little thank you gift for someone. I'm just gonna take two more pieces of my tape, put it right there. Okay, and then Put that right, kind of just center that right up. How cute is that? We're gonna add in our tea bag, making sure it fits right in there. And then all we need to do is tie our little bow. How cute are these? So now, if I do the three that I've done already, I've got a couple different variations here. And tie that other bow there so I have it all done. And these will make great little office presents. If you guys are doing some bazaars, these would make really cute little bazaar type gifts also. The other thing I wanted to show you is how cute it is if you just have a cup and you just wanna slide one right in the cup, maybe put a bow around your cup and you've got a ready-made gift. So I hope you liked this short tutorial on You Are My Cup of Tea tea bag holders. Thanks for joining me for another Inspiration Friday. I hope you enjoyed today's paper craft project. This tea bag holder is perfect for the gift giving season. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click the bell to be reminded whenever I upload a video. I also have a link to my blog listed below where you can check out other Inspiration Friday projects. And if you have any questions, please add a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Have a great Friday.